on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait a minute. What is it? What are we going to do when it comes to the bathroom situation? Huh? Yeah, I mean, you're, uh, oh, oh, I, I did not think of that. And goes pretty much like, wait, what are you talking about? I was like, well, like I said, I know he's using his body a little bit more now. And since we're going to be sharing this one, he's worried about me, you know, ugh. Seeing his fireman or his fire hose. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Mom! <laughs> hey, I just, I'm not the one who brought it up. Blame your son. I mean, my my grand, grandson, or me, whatever. Either way. Yeah, don't worry. I'll. Close my eyes or whatever. I'll at least give you full control wherever you're gonna be not decent. I guess that works. But oh no, yeah, don't have to worry about me seeing you. I don't see why it's such a big deal. I already know your measurements. <laughs> Now can never be married. Uh huh. You're gonna have to take responsibility. <sighs> First, this is your body, and I am stuck here for a time being. Second, I am your grandmother, so once I can find someone else. Uh, probably you know some people, but no. Third, that only really happens when it comes to women being seen exposed. So you say my feelings don't matter? Ah. Okay, you got me in a tight spot. I'm sorry. Don't. You can still get married. You don't have to worry about your purity. Oh my god, Inko. What kind of grandson have you produced? <sighs> yeah, whatever. Either way. Train from hell commences. Considering that they're, they don't have much time compared to how all my was when it comes to muscle mass. Now that does put Izuku through the damn ringer. She just knows that, yeah, I can't have him work out too much or helps he won't be able to use his body at all. So it's an even mix. Plus, thanks to this, Inko knows about one for all. She already knows how dangerous this is. She definitely knows about all for one by now. So... Inko joins in on this training, not only getting in some training herself, but also helping Yuzuku. What I mean by this? Her trash and quirk. Pretty much, she's expanding her range as well as how heavy the objects can be. Like she throws a rock at Yuzuku for him to dodge, she can bring it right back to help him train his spatial awareness. And considering that she's getting better, yeah, 
Izuku notices she's starting to get more into her prime Inko self as time goes by. It's not a full training montage, by the end of the day, at least 10 months, Inko is mid-transition. She's thick, but not thick, thick. She's prime and thick Inko mixed. Uh, she's proud of her and Izuku. The only thing is, Izuku... Uh, he does have muscle mass a lot more compared to canon so he can use at least seven to eight percent of one for all only real reason why is because he is starting to utilize Nana's quirk more yes he sees the potential of having such a strong power based quirk mixed in with something as liberating as float he's honest to god flying but sooner or later he starts to notice something different yeah now i can walk on air when she utilizes it but it seems as though izuku can make other people float too shocking nana as well as his Inko was like, wait, how are you doing that? I think the quirk evolved again. Please, continue. Explain yourself. It's acting more like a gravity quirk now. No, no, no. Uh-uh, uh-uh, don't, don't tell me that. It's like, no, there's no way in hell. My float quirk is actually evolving into... We have to ch chest this out! And Izuku just w walks right in front of him and go... Like, okay. And then, she throws a rock! Only thing is, Izuku is ain't using one for all or anything to really dodge it. He just activates float. What happens is, first, it floats. Easy. Then, he slams it down to the ground. Inko walks up to pick it up, and Izuku has increased the gravity. He's, honest to God, making it so, yeah, it's a lot heavier than it should be. Inko struggling to pick it up. Nana impressed. Inko shocked and impressed. Zuku, yay! A new way to use the quirk. I must write down my notes. So now, Zuku has 8% one for all. He's, thanks to one for all plus float being part of the factor again, he's honestly odd have an evolved form of float. So, in a 10 months training, it is time for the exam of, inter of entrances. You can just imagine how this is gonna go. With Izuku not even needing to truly fight the robots. He knows what he can do. So what he does is pretty much have every robot within the facility that he can expand his range to and has them crush under the weight. Everyone seeing this is like what the hell? All my looking like No hey that that kid's amazing. One thing is when Izuku's flying, at least floating, oh my god, he almost see like, huh, that, that's, that's interesting. What is it? Oh, it's, it's nothing, it's, it just, that just seems familiar. 
What? Is there something bothering you? You can tell us. Um. Well, <laughs> the way he's floating in the air kind of reminds me of, you know, someone that I used to know. They were very important to me. Really? Do you think he could be any relation? No, 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 that's impossible. Oh, well, maybe, but... Uh, it'll be too weird just to come out of nowhere and... Wait. I do recognize him somehow. It was... Oh, yeah, I saved him on the flood villain. Oh, interesting. Oh, fuck, I hate a good thing. That's... That's over and done with. Good, 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 great. Hmm. Okay. Now it's time for this zero pointer. Izuku seeing it is like, a little bit much for a test, but decides to finally start utilizing one for Oro more. One thing is, when Oro gets trapped, it's instinct. So he sees it, he shoots out of there and destroys it. He does use 100%, though he has his arms and legs. He's broken. It's totally not as bad. But there is pain felt. A lot of it. Everyone is shocked to see this. First, they thought, oh, wait, I thought it was just gravity manipulation. You know, Raka is looking. How? How did you. How did you. I thought it was him just screaming out in pain as Nod just berates him in his mind. Like, you idiot. How, why would you do something so reckless and stupid? She was in trouble. I was like, yeah, now you're in trouble. Just wait until you get healed up and we get home. I am... Wait, why am I acting like this? Because you're my grandmother? Yeah, but still. I should get Inko to punish you. <laughs> but as soon as he does get healed, Recovery Girl does notice something off. Not really that sh him showing off one for all, but she does see his hair shift from black to green over and over again. The black hair showing him being more disappointed looking while the other one is like oh please I'm sorry being very apologetic huh weird quirk it's when he, they see what his quirk is supposed to be is that huh it's an enhancement wait you know he has two quirks uh, float oh my just drops everything like what <laughs> well yeah technically it's he classified it as float, but looks like a possible more evolved. Seen more evolved than just floating. Hmm. Interesting. No way. What? There, there's. No, 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 no. What is it? Nothing. Nothing. Just. Just think. That's all. Okay. Izuku waits for his results. Now is putting him through the ringer again. This time with Inko helping. Just. What were you thinking? It's just. He hears it from his head. He hears it out on the outside. It's just a. He's in between a rock and a hard place. And they alternate. But once he does learn that he passed, as well as got hero points and hmm, beat Bakugo, he's pretty much, I'm going to be a hero. But this is when he goes like, wait, did you cheat in the theoretical exam? What are you talking about? 
my uh, mom is there. She's already taken the test. And I was like, oh, no. Don't worry. I made sure not to help him at all. Teasers never prosper. Hmm. Okay. Come on, we have plenty of time to study. Oh, what do you think? I was just going to put him through absolute hell without recovery? What do you think he was doing while he was recovering? Duh. I mean, it would be stupid not to have him study. I mean, just because he passed the practical doesn't... He still has to pass the theoretical or else he won't let him in. <laughs> he can't have no brain dead quirk user try to be a hero. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. If anything, he's a, he's a smart kid. And when me completely as support so far, yeah, well, <laughs> how can you lose? Hmm. All right. So, now what? Well, he gets ready for his first day at UA. It seems pretty obvious. Well, as soon as he does approach the doors of 1A, he's still nervous. But as soon as he opens the doors, he just takes a deep breath in and out. So that how he worked hard to get to where he is now. Then he sees Bakugo, who is shocked. It's like, how did you do it? It's pretty much all he can say. As he is about to explode Rizuku, but then Ida shows up and just pushes Bakugo all the way. He's like, start praising him with the full extent of classroom dad as you can expect. As I was showing up, he's like, okay, quirk apprehension test. Him saying he's a good I hope you won't become a problem for me. Since you since you were top of the interest exam, here. It was a so I throw it as hard as I can? Yes. Except for one thing. If you break your arm again, you're out of here. Uh, what? You heard me. You break your arm again? You are out of here. No exceptions. Understood. Izuku gets infinity, which shocks everybody. Bakugo, seeing that not only did he use one for all, but he also used float to also God make it shoot way into outer space. He goes to explode Izuku, but Izuku is ready for it and knocks him out before Azawa can do anything. Araka gets infinity as well. But she throws up soon after. Her actually admiring Izuku for his amazingness of not having much of a downside to his quirk. But then she remembered, oh wait, but you can't end up breaking yourself. So it makes sense. When his bungo wakes up. He looks for Izuku, finds him, and demands to know what the fuck. So you've been lying to me this whole time about it not having a quirk. Why? And to hear that it's so powerful, what? Wait. All those times, I was belittling you. I was talking shit. I was bullying you. You were laughing at me. This whole time, weren't you? What? Yeah. You were laughing at me. You... Huh. Well, this time I thought I was better than you, but... You were better than me. And behind my back... 
behind everyone's back. You were silently laughing at us, knowing that you had power. And power like this. Uh, don't try to deny it. It's in. Uh uh. Huh? You you are not calling him Kachan anymore. Remember? It's Bakugo Katsuki now. Uh, right. What? Who are you talking to? Listen, Bakugo. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just a late bloomer. Bullshit. No, I'm telling you the truth. No. I don't know how you got this quirk, but it doesn't matter. Because I am not losing to you. I refuse to lose to someone so beneath me. So you can enjoy this small victory as much as you want. At the end of the day, I'm the one who's going to be on top. Don't forget, I'm the one who's going to throw an all might. Who's going to win it all. And you'll be nothing but a low rank hero. I'll go over just walking away with all the malice and... Honest to God... Yeah, you ain't gonna be shit. I don't, this is my story. I'm gonna be your main character. Yeah, that's what you think, bitch. Luckily, Izuku having such a high value of self worth, thanks to Nana and Inko being such good, uh, a, such a supportful team. Don't get me wrong, Inko before she's, from what I can tell, if it weren't for her, Izuku probably would have lost his mind and killed somebody with his knowledge, or at the very least, he would have, uh, he would have taken that swan dive long ago. But here, oh, she's a, way much better at being a supportive mother. Now, this is going to be the whole heroes versus villains, which it's actually quite interesting. The teams are still the same, as well as the same matchups. Only thing is, Bakugo is even more determined. He saw Izuku's power, so he's definitely one to want to prove his worth, show that he's still the best, that he's uh, better. Than Izuku, at least. One thing is, Izuku, he's like, okay, time to test out this new move of mine. Hmm? What was that? No, I don't really have a name for it, per se, but. Yeah. If anything. Uh. What, 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 what's going to happen? Uh, just stay out of the line of fire? Stay, get, stay behind me? What are you going to do? It's starting, and as soon as Bahuyo shows up, Izuku, he's... Okay, let's see if this works. As soon as Bahuyo is almost face-to-face -face with Izuku, he's flying straight towards him until he just space plants everyone is shocked to see this Izuku's it worked Oraga wait what the hell did you do I increased the gravity what yeah I increased the gravity around him pretty much made it so he can't even move if he tries, it'll take a lot more effort to get back up. 
what? Oh yeah, I've been really wanting to test it out, but I've never. Uh, that, that that that's amazing. What's your work again? What well, it's a power type as well as you know float, but but it's kind of an evolved version of my grandmother's you know quirk. Um, okay. I may have to ask who your grandmother is, but okay. Uh, see you later, I suppose. This, this finished this. Uh, you take care of Kazi. Wait, well, don't. If anything, I can say, uh, find an alternate route. Why don't we just use a catcher tape? Because he will attack us as soon as I release the gravity. Oh, come on, there's no way. Yes, I will. <laughs> what? Just looking down at Bakugo, who is still growling, pissed off. He's foaming at the mouth and everything. Like, I will kick both your asses as soon as I'm able to. There's no hope for you afterwards. See? Counter date? It doesn't matter. He's still going to try to attack me. You're damn right I will. Uh, you can, uh, lessen the field afterwards. Wait, why don't you just use your quirk? What? I mean, it's, yours is zero gravity. Here I added the gravity. But it shouldn't affect you as long as you're still using your quirk, right? Oh. Actually, that's a good idea. Thank you. Her using her quirk on herself and floating by while Bakugo is still pitching a fit. Kaiser Jay is applied, but he's not taking any chances. Sadly, Oraka does end up pretty much almost losing the whole thing. Izuku being like, are you serious? How could you... You know what? I might as well make this quick. Him releasing the gravity and instantly knocking his ball go out. Everyone does look at it like, wait, why didn't you die before? I don't know. <laughs> what is it, Grandma? <laughs> You're acting more like me. You're being more of a sadistic jerk. What? Yeah, be more sadistic. You know exactly why you didn't just knock him out. You wanted him to get mad. You you wanted him to just look up to you. Honestly, I look up to you while you're looking down at him. I, I would never do something so villainous. No, it's not villainous. From what I remember and can see from your memories, that young man is a jerk, a bully. If anything, I don't even think he belongs at this school. So he should be grateful to even attend. Wow. Yeah. It, meanwhile, in the observation room, Walmart's just looking like, his grandma, huh? Is grandma squirk an evolved version of that? Float? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Well, well I might you guys really get a, have a nice long chat with this young man here. Hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll see what happens. As yes, Izuku's team wins by the skin of their teeth, thanks to Araka not being able to keep her composure around Ida's acting. All my tries to get Izuku alone, even asking him to join him in the teacher's lounge, but Izuku is too busy training, trying to get his schoolwork done and all that, trying to be the best student and hero he can be. Oh well, my can't really get any if at all alone time with him. On one hand he's like, okay, I understand, but on the other hand, damn it! I keep missing my chances. 
Now, that's for the USJ. Izuku, knowing that Nana is gonna kill him if he goes overboard, he just makes every single villain kneel. Even Shuraki and Kodagiri. It's when Nomu shows up. It's like, what? Behold the almighty killing weapon! This is the final boss. You beat him? There is no hope for us. Honest to God. So yes, Izuku is trying to weigh down the Nomu, but it is too strong just powering through it to a point where if it does fall on its knees, it rises back up with the concrete just caving in before each step. To the point where it's face to face with Izuku and he's looking up at it, it's looking down at him as he gets pimp stabbed like he owed no money. All the other villains, they can finally get back up and they bum rush the other students and Izuku. Him having no choice but to utilize his one for all and cause a massive shockwave. Blowing it all away. All the villains that are even stupid enough to be close to him. Shiraki knows this. This guy is the biggest threat. There is head. Done. 13. Done. Everyone else. Eh, no one can take care of them easy. But it's that one who almost stopped our plans. If it wasn't for this thing, we would be done as well. Uh, so. He focuses on Izuku. And it is an interesting fight because Yuku is using one for all the punches accidentally using 100% but it's not doing it much I mean it blows the number back definitely but wait how come I'm not broken how come I'm not hurt is pretty much the next thing he has to say he's like wait what the hell no no shock absorption what that's what that thing has it has shock absorption and it probably has some type of healing and super strength too. When I saw tried to negate its attacks or its quirk, it has more than one. So, I'm fucked. No, you're not. We just gotta find a weak point. So the fight is going on and on and on to the point where as soon as All Might does burst in, he is pissed. He sees Izuku bludgeoned and beaten down. His... He looks back. He's just looking at all my. It took you long enough before passing out. And All Might saw a glimmer of Nana Shimura as Izuku looked back at him. So. He still has one for all. He never, he's never given it to anyone. He is pissed. So, Beyond Plus Ultra. Though, yes, he may get hurt. It is nowhere near as bad as it would be if it was in canon. So, he is unloading 500 of 500 of punches at once at the Nomu. Shigeru is like, what the hell? I thought he was supposed to be weakened. Which, yes, he is. But, uh, it's not looking like it. Nomu defeated. Shigeru and Kodagiri are out of there. You can't risk that shit. And All Might... He calls the infirmary. He, all the other heroes do get there to take care of the rest of the villains. And as you can imagine, he picks up Izuku personally and whisks him away to the infirmary to be healed by Recovery Girl. It's when Izuku wakes up, All Might's just waiting. We need to talk about your quirks. Hey, Toshi. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, right. Uh, I think that was supposed to be a secret. I mean, uh, oh my, yay! Nope, 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 nope. None of that. Uh, -uh. don't don't bullshit me. You, you already spilled your beans. How do you know my name? My name, name, and why you sound so familiar? And about your quirk, well, quirks. Explain them. <sighs> okay. I just had an evolved version of my grandma's quirk. Yeah, who is your grandma? Nana Shimura. <gasps> she 
So she did have children. And she does have grandchildren. Yes. Indeed. So. Hmm. I'm sorry. What? I'm so sorry. Uh, what for? If I had been strong enough, I could have saved her. I, I would have given my life instead of hers. Just... Midoriya, why you slap me like that? As tears just fill up Rizuku's eyes, as if his hair changes to black. You idiot! Just because you're a hero now does not mean you can start that bullshit. Uh, but man, I used 100% by accident. Oh, it's broken. That's very much broken. Nana? Yeah, you big idiot. How? <sighs> well, turns out you didn't save my grandson. He did die. What? Yep. He did die that day. Uh, no, but I, I saved him. To, no, I did. And I think I. <laughs> yeah, he didn't take as deep a breath as he should have. So. Well, yeah, and it was a surprise attack. I am so sorry. Don't don't start that shit again. <sighs> I should have known this is gonna be you be this kind of hero. Ugh. Saving people with a smile. Oh my. Yeah, that sounds like something you would you would be. I could tell as soon as I met you, you'd be like this. Mentor, just, just call me Nana. Seriously. Hmm. If anything, now that the cat's out of the bag, let's talk. As, yeah, she gives you all my the whole explanation that how she is now inhabiting the body of her grandson, how she still has her quirk, as well as more for all, and has passed it down to him. One thing is, this means not only does Izuku have her quirk, and it being honestly odd, multiplied and evolved again, due to the double bath of one for all, he is going to be just as strong as all might. If not stronger, thanks to the whole gravity manipulation evolvation of float. What? Yeah. And you know what? Something's aw something was weird about that Nomu thing. From what I can tell, it had three quirks and it was not alive. This is horror. You know who is still around. What? All for one. Just so he's still alive and well. No. He should be dead. What? He should be dead. No, no joke. He should be dead. Not after I. After you what? You didn't. As all my just debuffs, showing his skeleton form of Rizuku and Nana, pretty much. What happened? I, my respiratory system, is shit. 
after that last fight and this now I have a time limit you idiot you just can't seem to <sighs> seriously what did I tell you about being a reckless muscle headed idiot all my just cheering up, like, hey, 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 enough of that. I'm just so happy to see you again. Well, tell me to see you again. <laughs> Seriously, even your eyes look different. I didn't think, I can't imagine that would take such a toll on your body. You should be more careful. Oh, believe me, I'm pretty sure... All for one is worse than what I did. I want to hear you punch him right in the face from your little story. Yeah. Do you know the magnitude of that punch? Do you know what you could have done? Mm -mm. Yeah. Could have killed him. If you didn't. And from what I could tell, you didn't. But at least you're alive. So, who's your successor? Huh? Yeah, successor. I mean, uh, you have the thought of someone, haven't you? Um, you have no idea who we gave the court to, do you? No, I I do not. Oh, you idiot! I, I'm sorry. No, no, well, well, yes. I mean, as soon as you got that injury, you should have been thinking about who to give it to. But it's ah. Uh, if I knew, if I known this, I wouldn't have given my grandson my quirk. Or at least I wouldn't have given him one for all. I would have made him the ninth user instead of the eighth. What? Oh. Did you, weren't you listening to my story? I mean, I'm, he's going to be just as strong as you without using my quirk. What? Yep. Uh, you just made another me. No. I made another Eighth user. How I didn't know that you didn't find a successor yet. I didn't plan on being back here. So blame is not on me. But it is great to see you again, Toshinori. And I was gonna say, at least ask if you miss me, but Considering how the reception, yeah, you definitely missed me. <sighs> Seriously, but that's weird. So, what? Uh, nothing, it's just... That Shigaraki Tomura kid... For some reason, something about him felt familiar. And what's with the whole hands thing? Yeah, I mean, it's weird. I mean, some people have weird, weirder hero costumes, that's for sure. <laughs> but still, I can't help but shake this feeling that. I might know him. As yes, this is very much the you lost a no moon. I am so sorry. But you said he was wounded. He is. What happened? Giving us new details like, oh. Interesting. It seems as though. Uh, 
He may have found his successor already. What? Yes. This green haired boy. Perhaps he's the one. Who knows? If I learned. Let's see how he reacts in the future. Now, because of the whole, eh, let's just say it. Oh man, I'm so sorry. The whole sports festival. Izuka can fly. Him having float, he can. Everyone, get on your knees. Pretty much thing. He can walk freely. And by this time, him knowing that, okay, yes, I can increase the gravity of things around me. Well, if I increase my gravity, so he's honestly got gravity training, so weights are useless. He's doing laps around in the sand while being restricted to hell. Higher levels of gravity, so you can just imagine he can use around 15% since he doesn't go crazy as hell with it. But that is more than enough to be able to fly throughout the whole damn obstacle course. First place is easy to him when it comes to the whole cavalry battle. He makes it so no one else can move. So he keeps them 10 million. It's weird. <laughs> Shin so doesn't stand a chance. At all. So, Shin so versus Izuku fight. Easy. Izuku versus Shogo fight. Is more or less the same, except. Izuku has a lot more power that he can use. And thanks to Nana not being a terrible teacher. Yeah, of course he already has full cowling. That's one of the first things he's learned since utilizing one for all. It's pretty much so much worse considering Izuku not only wins, but he's able to think more about how, okay, I can do this, I can do that. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Sorry. I got just some Tano Juicy right quick. Much to uh, Endeavor's about damn time. And he's like, what the hell? You still lost? Ida versus Izuku. Greasily of easily victory. Bakugo versus Izuku. Bogo was even more pissed. Seeing how strong Izuku is and has gotten. Is no contest. He forces. He's, just, he just forces Bogo into submission. Whenever he does try to use a house or impact. Izuku just. Sit boy. And just smack. Just slams him into the arena. Bogo trying to get it back up. Do you yield? And I don't. So Zuku just releases gravity, having Bogo float, and constantly slams him into the stage. So Bogo is not only getting hurt, he is getting humiliated. Like, do you give up yet? No! I mean, no! What about now? No! Until he falls unconscious. Izuku wins first place, Bar goes second, he's a third, and so on and so forth. But he uh, hears about, oh, wait, what happened to my brother? Izuku is not no dummy, and with Nana there, she's like, yep. Yeah. When it comes to the whole internships, she wants to talk to Gran Torino and let him know, like, I'm back. 
I'm back and better than ever. Also, yeah, I got grandson in which I am in his body right now, sharing it. Easy to do, and I don't know, like, yeah, that can wait. Let's save our boy. So, yes, when it comes to staying, Izuku, just out of sheer upsetness, he actually gives Stain a choice. Leave now and let Izuku take Ida and the injured hero. Stain is shocked at this. I saw you at the sports festival, but you clearly have what it takes to take me out. Why don't you? I just want to make sure that people don't get hurt. So you're willing to let me go as long as I let you take them to safety. You're willing to do that. This is when Nana and Ziggy are just speaking in unison. Though I do not agree with your methods, your ideology about the hero society being worse, I can't help but agree with that. But you, I know how much you might see All Might as a beacon of hope and everything, in which, yes he is, but you can't deny that he is technically the reason why it's so fucked up. People are getting too cushy and when it comes to, you know, life. Though, yes, it's great. Sooner or later. What are you saying? All Might's a great hero. But. He's still the cause of. His society being how it is. He's. Pretty much saying the standard, you could say. Yeah. I suppose, yes. They would follow his example. Exactly. Though, yes, people... Um... Do look up to him. It would be a lot better if he, you know. What are you saying? Uh, I'm just saying he could ease up. Try to lead a better example as a hero. Who knows? Maybe you two could talk. Maybe even try to convince other heroes to turn over a new leaf? Are you seriously trying to negotiate? No. Of course not. I don't negotiate with villains. What? Okay, I'm confused to what you're trying to do here. You have three options. Okay. Walk away and let me take them to safety. Okay, I know. Two, attack me and you will get dropped. Alright. Three, you could turn yourself in. What? Do the right thing. You haven't killed too many heroes. Those aren't heroes. They're just wannabes who want to get famous and rich. While the real heroes are busting their asses. And yes, there is truth to that. But you can't just keep killing heroes like this. It's working, isn't it? No, it's not. In fact, you're making things worse. Uh-huh. <sighs> Let's say you do kill off all the fake heroes. Know what that means? Yes. They have no choice but to 
make more worthy heroes, right? Nope, nope, nope. Leave it like this. Less heroes means there's less heroes on the streets. Less heroes on the streets means more less activity to a point where not enough heroes, we may have to get desperate in our hero recruitment. In which we could end up with worse heroes, shady heroes, dirty heroes who will look the other way if, as long as they, yeah, as long as a person can grease the wheels or convince them that, eh, you're not all bad. What I, huh. That's right, you didn't think about that, did you? No. I, I can say I... No, I did not. Wow, I... So, by doing this, I could have just... You could have tried to be a hero yourself. Especially with whatever your quirk does. Oh, it... It allows me to paralyze someone as long as I taste their blood. What? Oh, yes. If I, like, say if I got a drop of blood of yours. As soon as I lick it, at least ingest it or whatever, you're paralyzed for a certain sad time. Wow. Yeah, you would be a great hero. Really? Yes. I mean, heck, there are already heroes that have blood-based quirks. Like, uh, have you seen Vlad King? I mean, seriously. He's named after Vlad the Impaler. Dracula. Do you know how... Ugh. I mean, his brutality alone... <clears throat> Either way, yes. Lead by example. Show the world how much better it could be. All I can say is, I, I don't know everything. You never know how some people are going to react. But give it time. And you can change this broken world. Okay? Uh, hmm. Alright. Very well. Good, good, good. So, which is it? Oh. I'll, I'll turn myself in. Now that's a good boy. Huh? Never mind. I'll go get some heroes. Zizuku slash Na just walk away. He's like, wait, wait, wait. Aren't you going to take them with you? Like, I'll trust them with you. You won't do anything unsavory, right? Uh, how are you just right? Yes, uh, I'll guard them with my life. And that's how that ends. Izuku technically didn't use his quirk. So, yeah, he gets credit. Ida does still get in trouble. But they're pretty much more thinking like, what the hell did, did you really just convince Stain to give up of all people him? Dude, yes. Yes, you're welcome. Yes, continue with the praise. Thank you so much. Yes, I've earned it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. As, yeah. There's nothing left to really say about that. The hero killer, Stain, gave up. Lock him away. Have him serve his time. Wish. Yeah, put him on probation or something. 
That's all she wrote. Izuku is looked at differently because it's one thing to take out a villain, but it's another thing that like, you didn't need your quirk, all you needed was your words. And that it sh shall be the how this part ends.